Hello and welcome to another video. I'm here on the sunny, the nice and sunny Isle of Man. Uh, actually at the moment, the TT Grandstand. And this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, and had to be here to do it. But um, I just want to share my favorite spots really as a rider, sections I particularly enjoy riding through and look forward to one day watching from myself, but also points of the course that I think are in, can give the best experience, whether you've been coming here for a long time or it's your first time. Um, it's, uh, it's a funny place, the Isle of Man, and you really, if you've been, you know, if you, and if you're coming, you will find out. It's a special atmosphere it creates and um, nowhere like it. So I'm starting the lap here. Uh, we're at the TT, the grandstand, which is the start line. Um, just down here is the actual start line. It will all look a bit different in a couple of months when we're racing here. Um, and behind here, this is all the paddock area and the fan park is over the way there. So I'm actually up in the grandstand at the moment. That's the control tower where the races are run from. The prize giving the uh, podium is just here for the end of the race. So I think this section is important and I, and I would recommend it really because you see and experience, feel the whole build up to the race. You can watch the race start, um, the pit stops during the race, the drama that will kick off there. There's often a lot of tension. It's, uh, it's you know, something different. You get the flybys. The super bikes here are about 170 through here on the speed trap. So there's obviously uh, some exhilarating high speed action and then at the end of the race obviously you get the, the whole podium ceremony and um, closure and then the wind down afterwards you can walk down around the paddock and uh, soak up the kind of atmosphere afterwards of the teams kind of wrapping up and finishing for the day debriefing so um, and the other advantage with here obviously is the facilities are very good um, all within reach where the fan park over there to get a beer after the race or during and there's a lot of retail down here plenty of shops and uh places to kind of buy your souvenirs and have a look round or pop around the teams and buy the team gear and support your favorite racer <laughs> uh, but um and it's walkable from douglas if you're over here with no transport you can walk up to the grandstand um easy no problem and then after the races head down town get some nice dinner and a few beers so the first part of my tt or my first recommendation and these are in no particular order because it's so hard to put them in any kind of hierarchy but generally i'm just going to start the lap um start the lap from here where we start the races um and uh work my way around so the next section actually isn't very far away we're going to go there now so just a few hundred meters from the start line is Bray Hill. Now this is the, the bottom. There's various sections of which you can watch at the top, St. Ninians. I actually watched my first TT race just up halfway up the hill there. And um, I was 12 and I still remember it now. So um, it's somewhere I send people who I know haven't been to the TT before uh, for their first kind of, their first experience is probably, um, it's going to be one of the best. I like to send them somewhere where it's going to be a real shock to the system. And the bottom of Bray Hill certainly gives you that. It, um, we're probably 180 odd mile an hour down through here uh, on the big bikes for sure. A big compression just here at the bottom. And then uh, a big wheelie away over Ago's Leap up there. But gets very busy during a race or practice session, especially at TT. It's... Um, a popular section with not far walk from Douglas Town Centre so it's easy to get to but if you're coming here I'd get here early I can't comment on facilities um, but um, definitely if you've not watched a Bray Hill then it's somewhere I would try and get to and put to the top of your list okay it's time for a quick ad break I'm pleased to say this video is sponsored and supported by Duke who offer various spectator packages and experiences uh, here on the Isle of Man throughout TT and other times of the year. So uh, I've put their link in the description below, so please check it out. I would recommend a coach lap, uh, which riders like myself will narrate and talk through uh, a lap and give an insight of a, a full lap of the TT course, albeit on a coach, but uh, a great insight to 
what quite goes on and uh, whether you're here with transport or without it's definitely something uh, I would recommend to get a true feel of what we get up to I suppose anyway please check out the link uh, below have a look and let's get on with the rest of the video this is Gorse Lee and um, it kind of makes me giggle because it is uh, just a mental corner it's a little bit short circuity nice and smooth it's a hard corner to learn as a newcomer because it's a blind late apex right hander um, fifth gear on super bike sixth gear on super sport absolutely full chat on the 600 which is quite exhilarating but uh, it's a fast fast proper ballsy corner so if you want to get up close to some high speed mental action then uh, this is probably my best place to recommend on the course, Gorse Lee. Greba Bridge is just back there. Come run down the bank here so spectators can literally sit on the bank here. A late apex turn in to the right hander up there. Obviously we're a bit early in the year at the moment, it's only April, but when the TT's on, these trees are all green, it darkens up. It's been hard in, even in practice because the sun really b b comes through here and almost blinds you, which, um, I mean, it's hard enough without not being able to see where you're going but uh, on a race day is a good always a big turnout here lots of people on this bank yeah, I, I can't come up, comment on parking facilities but uh, I definitely definitely recommend coming here to Gorsley and would get here early because it gets busy The bottom of a garrow. Now this is a scary corner. I don't care what anyone says. This is uh, it's scary to ride and I'm pretty sure it'll be quite scary to watch. Watch from here, it's fifth gear. Um, a big downhill run from the top of the garrow. Um, timing is crucial. There's a big compression here at the bottom and um, really have to kind of set your bike up for this section. Um, it's a true, true test on, on the rider and, and machine, really. I ended my 2018 senior race here um, and sent it a little too much and took my son out just here and pulled up a little further up the way there. But it's, um, it's a seriously, seriously fast section. And I don't know if you can see from here, I try not to get run over. There's a fence line just here. Um, and always very busy on uh not that i'm looking too much at how many spectators there are when i'm coming through here but i'm just aware there's a lot of people um and this is one section on the course that i kind of don't particularly look forward to i'm kind of relieved once i'm through here it's always quite a relief um and heading on then down to kurt michael um <laughs> it's sort of definitely a little bit of a tense up and hold your breath through here <laughs> really important here in practice to to push through here and really work the bike as it's going to be worked in a race scenario because um, if you don't and then all of a sudden up your pace in the race and the bike's not set and you're not sprung right then you can just smash the bottom of the bike out here and race over and potentially crash so um, there's certain sections you need to really push on and this is this is one of them um, as scary as it is I'm not afraid to admit it it's a this is a tough little corner here and always a relief to pass through and have it done you know i count this down in a six lap race i count it down every lap only two more times one more time thank god i ain't got to do that for another year so um <laughs> i'm smiling but uh genuinely it is that it's uh it's a tough section and uh, a scary section but i recommend it if you want to scare yourself come here bottom of bagaro This is Conquer Fields or K Tree. I think most of the riders really refer to it as K Tree. Just behind me, there's a big tree with a K written on it, and that is for the curb that sticks out. I don't think you better see it from where you are, but as a rider, it's important when learning the course to really um, 
it pulls you in, but you need to hold out and avoid the curb, which sounds crazy, but once you've done a lap, you kind of, you're aware of it and never actually f forget. But um, this is a fast, fast section, fifth gear through here. It's a fast approach, quite cur curvy actually, all the way through. Um, and hard work to put yourself on the right line for this. There's a left, a left turn through here, just around this tree. And my approach here is to, or my theory, what I try to do with the bike is just around here. I try to kind of pump the bike and carry the front wheel through this corner. These big trees have obviously got roots growing under the road and it makes it very uh, rough and undulated. So um, if you can imagine uh, if both tires are in contact with the ground, they kind of argue and fall out with each other. And this might sound completely crazy, but it's an approach I've taken all the years I've ridden here and it seems to work. Uh, it works for me, so I continue to do that. But, um, basically, I carry the front wheel from around here uh, through the corner, which will go up there in a moment. I carry it through the corner and bring it down afterwards, and it just helps keep my bike more stable and uh, and planted, a little bit more rideable. Um, saying that, sat here or stood here, it is pretty mental to think we're we'll be doing around 160 mile an hour through here which is bonkers to think uh but it, when you're on the bike it makes sense and um doesn't seem that bad so this is the the tree with the k on and actually stood here it does look like more of a corner than it feels when you're on the bike um and you can imagine in a couple of six weeks it's going to be a lot darker here with the when all the leaves are out on the trees so I think here at Conquer Fields, this is the place to be, to watch. Um, we obviously come from that direction, run through here. This is the tree just here, this one, with the, with the K on, which is sort of the apex. And we then run out to the wall and get back to the left, ready for the next right left under the trees and on into Ramsey. Um, but I think, I've just had a little walk around here, but this is probably the best vantage spot here. We're a little bit higher up above the road. We can actually see quite a far way back there where, um, where the bikes will come into view and another good few hundred meters that direction where we'll go out of view. Obviously, at 160 mile an hour, it won't take you long to get through this section. But um, yeah, there's a lot going on here with the bikes and uh, this is probably the top of my list of places to come and watch one day. So if you can get here, I don't think you'll be disappointed. So I'm going to fast forward now across the mountain um, to the next location, but I, I've struggled, if I'm honest, to, to really narrow down these places. The course is obviously so long, 37 miles. There's a lot of sections to choose from, um, but the places I have chosen here are particular parts of the course that I ride through and genuinely in, probably enjoy the most, but um, look forward to one day coming to watch. It's... Um, but honestly, it's hard to choose. There's so many good places here to experience the TT and see it from different angles and different speeds. But uh, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to choose. This is my final recommendation on the course. Uh, and it's not particularly, it's not super exhilarating like a lot of the other sections I've mentioned. It, um, but it's more an atmosphere thing. Uh, we're at the end of the mountain section, very near the end of the lap, and it's at the famous and sort of iconic uh, Craigna Bar. They're doing some road works up on the mountain. So I can't give you a full kind of aspect of it, but uh, Kate's Cottage is just up there. You can walk on up the bank um, for some fast section uh, and also away from Craig down to Brandish. But um, the corner here is actually fairly slow. It's a slowish right-hander back to second gear. But the special thing here is um, the atmosphere. Uh, obviously, facilities are quite good with the pub there. There's a grandstand, some VIP options if you want them. But uh, parking and stuff, it's accessible when the roads are closed. So there's a few options here. But um, as I said, the atmosphere on the last lap, um, of say a senior race or any race particularly but more so the last race of the week um, the spectators waving the programs and applauding you know it um, regardless of what position you're in it's always quite a special feeling to pass through here um, 
after two weeks of hard riding and, uh, and, and racing. Well, that's it really for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and my perspective, I suppose, or perception of certain sections. It, um, for sure, if you've got any information or want to share on little secret spots, perhaps on where to watch, um, then do drop it in the comments below or any questions on um, the sections I have mentioned, uh, put them in the comments. And if I can answer, I will, or otherwise I'm sure hopefully someone watching and reads the comments can kind of help and uh make anyone's experience or new tt experience for the first timers um even better so that's it i'm going to wrap up um next time i'm back here is going to be on the bike it'll be a little bit warmer and i can't wait to to get going i hope you enjoyed this video please make sure you're subscribing and keep up to date with newest videos i've got some plans and going to run a bit of a vlog during northwest 200 and the tt so um i want to make those as good as possible and your input and uh <clears throat> comments will help make that happen thanks for watching